The Lions overcame an early red card to ease to a comfortable win over the Dragons. My name's Mark, let's talk rugby. Rodri Williams picks up an early yellow card for deliberate knock-on after just three minutes of the game. Lions then go to the corner from the penalty. Dragons defend them all well, but then the Lions look to spread it. Nohamba attempts a cross kick, but that gets charged down by Aaron Owen and the Dragons break. Wainwright up the middle makes great ground into the Lions half. Out to Williams on the wing. He breaks even further deep into the 22 and then he flings an offload infield about five minutes short of the line. Hewitt keeps the ball alive and then Keddy forces his way over to score. Great counter-attack there from the Dragons. Reed converts for 7-0. It's 14-man Dragons making most of the play from here, putting immense pressure, pressure on in that line's 22. But J.P. Smith, he collects an attempted kick through. And then gives it off to uh, Van Wyk, who broke up field. He, he's he got Will Reed trying to chase him down. But then Van Wyk puts on just a burst of speed and goes over to score. Converse is missed. We're at 7-5. Nahamba shortly after then strokes over a penalty to put the lines in front. 8-7. Ruben Schumann, he gets an attempted... Uh, Puts an attempted charge down on Hewitt. Gets it completely wrong as he catches him in the head with his forearm while he's he's still in the air himself and he's bracing for the contact. And referee says it's a red. So he's off the rest of the game. Lines down to 14. Dragons immediately on the attack after that. Looking to exploit the extra man. But it's another try against a run of play dragons spill the ball forward over the line uh there was a great tackle in there from van week lines then immediately shifted to the wing creel breaks from uh basie's own line and then comes back inside offloads to horn who shakes off an attempt to tackle and then goes over under the post nahamba converts for 15-7 Delport then gets over the ball to win a penalty. Nahamba makes it 18-7 from the tee. A penalty at the scrum gives Dragons a chance to narrow the gap. Reed obliges to make it 18-10 and that was a halftime score. Into the second half then, Dragons on the attack at the start of the half. Ball is stripped in the tackle. Lines kick the ball through a gap and into touch. Uh, and... It's uh, low, I think, who put the kick in, but he gets tripped by Bradley Roberts, who gets a yellow card after a TMO review. Dyer then spills an up and under, and Lyons pounce on it. I, who was it? It was, oh, what's his name? It was Horn, right? The, the, the number eight. He gets the ball first, and he pops it off for, to Edwin van der Merwe, who goes over to score, and a hammer converts 25-10. Hewitt then breaks to the Dragons and brings play into the Lions 22. He lacks support, but he's really strong in the tackle, avoids a few of them, stays on his feet long enough for them to be able to recycle the ball. The ball is slow, looks like chance might be gone, but then Owen breaks and gets him on the outside of the defence and Hewitt goes over to score, converted for 25-17. We then have a... Timo check for a tackle uh, by Roger Williams, who sent, uh, who was it? Uh, it was in, Intela Bacanye, I think probably butchers his name there, sorry. Um, sends him head over heels, though, the tight head prop for the lines. Um, and it's, it's the fact that he was on his knee, he was on one knee uh, when he gave away the penalty. There, there was... Um, another incident flagged as well, another high hit from a Dragons player, but they can't find footage of it. And the referee, I think, in fair, fairly says we can't wait 20 minutes for the director to find the right angle of that. So we come back for the penalty. Nahamba pops that over to make it 28-17. Then have a great break from Rio Dyer, gets the Dragons into the Lions 22. He can't link up 
with the support, but dragons do get an attacking line out. But lions steal that line out and a clear chance really missed from from the dragons there a point where you could have seen them maybe getting the momentum and coming back into the game and you know lions straight away take advantage horn collects a long kick he runs it back and then runs across the dragons defense kind of the way you see damien pinot do a lot for france where he doesn't he's not trying to beat the player he's just probing for you know a gap in the defense then from there um he gets the ball out to creel out in the white channel he steps back inside and then puts van de van de Verg over to score the bon- and that was a bonus point try as well converted for t- 35 17. dragons then win a penalty at the breakdown they go up the line win another penalty for the lines uh collapsing the mall they go back into the corner. This time the mall drives over and Roberts is the scorer. Converted from out wide by Reed, 35-24. You know, maybe Dragons had, you know, one eye then on a bonus point at that stage, but Lions just pile on some more points after that. They um like hit back, you know, a couple of minutes later, Frankie Horn again, a lovely long pass out to Max Wayne on the wing. He uh angles back inside rides a few tackles and then offloads back to horn and he finishes uh the try the hammer converts 42 24 and then we have time then for van der merva um to get over again he wins the race to a clever kick through to finish under the post that's converted as well and our final score was 49 24 let's have a look now at some of the stats from the game hopefully they are completely up to date at this stage so um yeah so try scored uh is definitely not up to date because this is four three it wasn't four three it was um six to three uh so let's hope some of the other stats are at least up to date um so six three try scored possession 54 to 46 you know, the Lions um, holding onto the ball uh, and doing really well as well with, you know, that's what you want to do if you've got 14, right? You don't want to be giving the opposition um, the lion's share of possession, if you pardon the pun. Um, clean breaks then, 16 for the Lions, 11 for the Dragons. There were plenty of breaks from both teams. I've, I thought the Lions, the difference though, was that the support that they had for the player who was breaking and also the fact that the, the Dragons cover just didn't seem to be there, even though they had the extra man. When the Lions broke, you know, often they were just clean through, whereas the Dragons, you know, they were, they were, there were still plenty of defense left to, to beat. And as I said, they kind of run out of, um, support at times. Defenders beaten then 29 to 21, offload 6 to 14. Onto the fence then, territory 52 to 48 for the Lions. But it felt like, you know, the, a lot of like especially early on um being the team who were in the opposition 22 maybe wasn't the best thing because there was so many um coast to coast turnover tries scored tackles made then 75 to 102 missed tackles 18 to 23 and you know tackle success 81 to 82 that's pretty poor from both teams and it's often what you see in games like this where you know what well, we're totaling nine tries in, in the game that tackle success isn't going to be um that high turnovers one then eight for the lions five for the dragons and the lions at times you know winning those turnovers as the dragons were trying to get themselves back into the game and, and potentially you know get within a score but the lions would win a turnover the, the one uh, that five minute line out i think that was very crucial and then scored shortly after as well onto kicking then uh kicks retained three from the lions two from the dragons so good competition in the air but obviously uh one of those the charge down led to the red card as well penalties then five for the lions and ten for the dragons so lions very good um discipline from them other than the fact that they got a player sent off you know um you know other parts of the play was were pretty clean in that respect so you know this is a really good uh win for the lions i think you know coming back 
to win with with 14 men and to do it comfortably as well um just shows that you know um they're a decent team and maybe their early season form um didn't really do them justice so now they've got to, to try and kick on and you know going into europe now to really show what they're made of there as well um for the dragons they will take heart from the performance here but it's another defeat for them